Every year, there is one big make money online trend. In 2018, it was SMMA. In 2019, dropshipping. 2020, Amazon FBA. 2021, crypto. 2022, Andrew Tate Red Pill. And 2023, of course, it was AI. With every trend, a new class of millionaires are made overnight. And these millionaires aren't any different from you. All they did was identify a trend and position themselves early in the market. You see, what's far more important than skill is timing. If you're early to an emerging opportunity, you have a chance to win big. But if you're late, all you're left with are the scraps. And as we enter 2024, the next money-making trend is right around the corner. And in this three-part series, I'm gonna be sharing how to identify trends early, what the next big trend is going to be in 2024, and how you can take advantage of it to make more money than 99% of people could ever dream of. You see, you and I are more alike than you think. I too didn't wanna to settle for a normal job and a depressing life. I too grew up watching YouTube videos looking for the next big opportunity. I too tried countless different business models, drop shipping, SMMA, FBA, lead agencies, none of which unlocked the life that I dreamed of. I finally discovered the reason these businesses never worked out for me, and it's probably the same reason they aren't working for you. You were too late to the game. I'm honestly not surprised that it's so hard to start an online business these days. Trying to find the perfect opportunity that's not already too saturated is nearly impossible, because the second anyone is successful with a new online business model, thousands of people flood in and saturate the market. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I escaped the competition by becoming a futurist. You see, I was constantly chasing the next hyped business model, not realizing that by the time I heard about it on YouTube, it was already too late. I had to start looking into what the next trend would be before it came because that's the only way I could beat my competition. And little did I know that that tiny tweak in perspective would lead me to make my first million dollars at 24. Before I had a big YouTube channel, I was running my own SMMA. After countless hours of hard work, I eventually started making good money. And I was making $30,000 a month, but it was a constant battle. There were a dozen of other marketing agencies in my area, and there was always someone that was willing to do it for cheaper. It was an extremely competitive market, and I had to work nonstop just to keep up. There were weeks where I barely saw my friends and family because I was working 10 to 14 hours every single day. And to be honest, it wasn't even worth all the stress. Even though I was making good money, I wanted to be a millionaire. So I knew I had to try something else. And that's when I decided to start my first software company, Poppin. I knew software was more scalable than my agency because all I had to do was make it once, then I could literally sell it to thousands of people without all the headaches of managing clients and hitting deadlines. So I had an idea. What if I could build a Disney Fast Pass, but for bar owners, where people could pay to skip the line at their favorite bar or nightclub? I mean, people slip the bouncers money all the time, so why don't I just make it easier? $30,000, and six months later, we were in around a dozen bars in my area. But me and my business partner soon realized that bars would be busy one week, but then dead the next week. And then bar owners would also circumvent our system and pocket cash behind our back. Not to mention that getting a new bar to sign up was a complete logistical nightmare. It was a huge learning experience. And just before everything crashed and burned, I noticed something interesting in the summer of 2021. People were getting really interested in blockchain, but they lacked the technical ability to get involved. So me and my partner pivoted and taught our developers how to build smart contracts immediately. Smart contracts are just a way to sell products like NFTs on the blockchain. And since it was a brand new thing, very few people knew how to make them. And because of that, we could charge a premium price. So in 2021, our smart contract development agency was born. Throughout that year, we ended up having dozens of well-known creators and brands hiring our development agency to build their smart contracts. Clients were paying us six figures for something that only took us a few weeks to do. A simple idea made us millions of dollars. You see, business is a game of arbitrage. And if you're the first one to a new opportunity, you win big. I call this opportunity arbitrage. 
the earlier you are to an idea, the more money you make. But inevitably, over time, the same thing that happens to every new online business model happened to us. More competitors pop up, interest slows down, and we couldn't charge as much. And that's what happened with smart contracts. Most people assume that millionaires must be smarter, more qualified, or luckier than them. But that couldn't be further from the truth. Millionaires are no better than you. And I know this because I've personally met hundreds. And you'd be surprised to find out that some never even started their first business until they were 40. Some couldn't even graduate high school. The only difference between millionaires and regular people is that millionaires identify emerging trends early and immediately take action. No second guessing, no doubts, no time wasting, just pure action. And it's that same action that allows them to position themselves perfectly in an exploding new market. Over the last six years, I have been living and breathing the YouTube make money online space. And I've noticed a very interesting pattern. Every 12 to 18 months, there's a new trendy business model. And within each of these trends, there are a handful of people who take action early and make millions of dollars. It was happening over and over again on repeat. It was a predictable cycle that I realized I could take advantage of. I decided to analyze each cycle individually to try to break it down further. And I noticed that they each had three distinct phases. Phase one, the equalizer. Phase two, the awakening. And phase three, the saturation. In order to spot the next big trend early, you need to know when the previous trend is ending. So let's break down the underlying fabric of a trend. You see, humans are mimetic creatures, meaning you see others do something, then we do it, especially if it's something that can help our survival, AKA make money. It's the same way babies learn to talk. We all mimic each other. And once this happens at scale, we have a new trend. It's a collective interest. We see it in fashion all the time. Clothes that you think are ridiculous and that no one would wear suddenly spread like wildfire. And now you have everyone looking like oversized marshmallows. In fashion, trends are subjective and random, but the make money online world, is different. There is always a predictable set of events that lead to a new emerging trend. And this is what I call the great equalizer. And if you wanna make millions of dollars fast, you have to get in within six months of the equalizer. So you only have a short window of opportunity before the competition gets thick. Think of an equalizer like a new opportunity that becomes accessible to everyone. A new tool or technology unlocks a new business model that you can start with next to no capital or experience. Here are some great equalizing moments that you've probably heard of. SMMA. Facebook made running ads so easy that a high schooler could do it. Dropshipping, Shopify and AliExpress made it possible so anyone could build an online store and sell products online without upfront inventory costs. Crypto, Coinbase made it easy for anyone to buy crypto with their credit card on their exchange. So you need to see what tech is being developed and timing when it is ready for the market. That's what being a futurist is. Analyzing future technologies and identifying the inflection point where there is product market fit and using that gap in the market to make millions of dollars before the crowds roll in. Once the equalizer event occurs, futurists start preparing their strategy for phase two, which is the awakening. During the awakening, more people learn about the opportunity. Success stories and educational content start popping up on YouTube. The futurists who joined the movement early have gotten great results and then start sharing it. Other smart people see their success and take action. And since more people know about the opportunity, the market grows exponentially. This is where the futurists cash in and make the real money in the market. People who join in the awakening phase have to catch up by learning and setting up their business, but they have just enough time as it is still very profitable and can make them hundreds of thousands of dollars. As the awakening continues, however, markets begin to mature, services become a commodity and profit margins start to lower. Why does that happen? Well, the simple answer is that there's more competition, but there are also other factors at play, such as big companies hearing about the opportunity and investing heavily to carve out their share of the market, making it next to impossible for the average person to succeed. This is when we reach a tipping point and enter phase three, the saturation. The market becomes highly competitive and crowded and established players with huge budgets and teams start to dominate. Videos are going viral left and right, 
mainstream media is covering the trend. People are flooding in, but they don't stand a chance. They get excited about the new opportunity that they saw on TV, but little do they know the best days are behind them. They spend months trying to catch up, and while they're trying to just learn the business, the futurists have already monopolized it, leaving nothing but the scraps for the new entrants. They have been sold a dream. This is the life cycle of a make money online trend. You need to be aware of the trend cycle because if you're early to the next one, it can make you millions of dollars, but you have to be there before the awakening to make big money. So now that we know the three phases of a trend, let's talk about how futurists identify an equalizer. So in 2021, I saw smart contracts early. I got into the right technology at the right time and I took fast action. But after the blockchain trend came to an end, I wanted to see if this was a strategy that I could replicate. I was aware of the trend cycle, but I had no idea what was next. All I knew was that the market was ripe for a new equalizer. So what does it take for a trend to be a trend? Well, every trend starts with one thing, a new technology that unlocks a new opportunity for the masses. So let's break that down. For something to be a trend, you need a new idea idea, an underlying technological breakthrough, an opportunity to make money, and it needs to be easy, meaning anyone can do it. For a trend to really be a trend, it must hit all four of these. So those are the underlying requirements. Now, luckily, futurists don't have to see into the future. We just pay attention to a few indicators to identify trends when they are in the equalizer phase. The first place you'll want to monitor is archive.org. Archive is an open source library where top researchers share their technological breakthroughs. These research papers are the root of what all trends stem from. Next, Next, you'll want to check Hacker News. This is where all the Silicon Valley engineers hang out online, and you can start to gauge what is real and what is fluff. Look at what is being discussed by the hardcore technologists so you can get context on how innovative these discoveries really are. But be careful because these people are a very small online niche, and for something to be a trend, it has to go mainstream. So here's how I identified the AI trend early and gained over 200,000 subscribers in just a few months because of it. As I was scrolling on social media, I noticed that everybody was posting these animated avatars of themselves on their stories. They could upload a few selfies and in just a few seconds, they would have dozens of animated avatars that looked like them in different art styles. I looked into the app and realized that they were being generated by AI. It was something that I had never seen before. It was going viral and most importantly, it was new. So I looked into Linza and I realized that they were using a new AI model that was publicly released on Archive. They were using an underlying technological breakthrough to power their app. At the same time, Tweet Hunter was getting really popular on my Twitter feed. It was a software that would analyze my past tweets and generate new ones around topics that I usually talk about. Thousands of people were using it, and after looking into it, they were just using an AI API. Tweet Hunter just took an AI that they didn't even invent and then found a new specific use case for it, writing tweets. They sold for $10 million in under 18 months. So clearly this is a big opportunity to make money. Now, all we needed was something so easy that everyone could do. And that's when ChatGPT was released to the public. My Twitter feed started exploding and I checked Google Trends and AI was at its peak by a long shot. This was clearly gaining a lot of interest. So I went to my YouTube feed and I saw a video had 100,000 views in under eight hours. But the interesting thing was that it was from an account with only 3,000 subscribers. This is always my biggest indicator for a trend. If you start seeing YouTube channels with very few subscribers get hundreds of thousands of views, that is a clear sign that there is a lot of demand for a topic, but very little supply. Dozens of creators went from completely unknown to hundreds of thousands of subscribers just for being the first ones to cover this new trend. And I was ahead of it because I knew what indicators to look for and where to look for them. ChatGPT was the equalizer for AI. And since I had my futurist playbook, I took full advantage of it. While everyone was making videos on how to use ChatGPT, I was the first person to make a video on how to make money with AI APIs. And that video blew up 
racking up over a million views in what felt like overnight. We pivoted our dev agency to AI. We started working on our AI software revamped and I continued to make content on AI. Six months later, we entered the awakening phase of a make money online trend. In June of 2023, the AI automation agency trend started. This was a frenzy. Everyone was starting their own AI business and we were in front of it by a long shot. Now we're over a year into the AI trend and we're in the saturation phase. Interest has died down, most companies have a plan, and the market is hyper competitive. The top 1% of action takers have gained a life-changing amount of followers, newsletter subscribers, clients, and millions of dollars. And as usual, the 99% of people who weren't prepared are left with nothing. It's a cold world. But I have good news for you. Being in the top 1% isn't about predicting trends. It's about having a playbook for when the next one comes around. This is something anyone can do. You just need to be prepared. And as we enter 2024, the next one is right around the corner. Futurists do not create trends. Futurists do not force trends. Futurists don't even predict trends. Futurists simply identify trends early and position themselves before the masses and use that to make millions of dollars. There is always a new trend emerging. And once a few people start doing something, soon everyone will start doing it. Since this is human nature, this becomes a very dependable strategy. If you look at well-known internet gurus, you will see that all of them made their name during a big trend. Iman Godzi built his brand during the 2018 SMMA trend, Alex Becker in the 2019 dropshipping trend, and Andrew Tate in the 2022 red pill trend. And the biggest internet gurus have capitalized on not one, but two different trends. Alex Becker did it again in 2021 with crypto, and Iman did it again in 2022 with the red pill trend. And since they had experience spotting and capitalizing on them, their second time around was 10 times bigger than their first. Trends are rocket fuel for a business, but trends are also fickle. As quickly as they come, they go. From the great equalizer event to the saturation, the life cycle of a trend is 18 months. And within those 18 months, the first six are the most crucial to capitalize on the new opportunity. That's why it is so important to be able to identify trends early and act fast. The key word for this video is trend. DM me the word trend on Instagram and you will be entered into a $500 giveaway. If you get the keyword for all three videos, we will send you an in-depth case study on how we built our SaaS revamped with no code. With AI, we have entered the start of the saturation. People have figured it out and now they're flooding the market. But don't be upset you missed it because with every saturation, that means the new equalizer is right around the corner. In fact, it's due for 2024, and I think I know what it is. The next equalizer is happening as we speak. And in my next video, I'm gonna share exactly how I plan to capitalize on it. I have a proven three-step strategy that I use to make millions. And in three days, you will too.